Here you're seeing a visual aid created by Miss Flanagan that shows all of our color value combos of the 24 pack of oil pastels. They are split up by color range and by um, warm colors, cool colors, neutrals, etc. And what's really nice to see is the pairings of the different options of values and colors within um, a certain color range and how you can really start blending using those different colors. That way you're creating something that's a little bit more dimensional and less flat. This next visual aid is showing how to actually create dimension using the, um, the different color ranges. So the first one you're seeing, it's showing it's too flat, it's all one color. The second one, it's a little bit better, but the dark values are not pushed enough. And then the third one is really showing a wide range of dark to light values. It's also showing what happens when you don't apply the oil pastel in the correct way. So you can't just scribble in all the oil pastel and expect it to magically blend. You do need to think about the direction of the line that you're creating and if it makes sense with the overall image or the object that you are drawing. And lastly, this one's a really great visual aid because it shows the texture that can be created um, through using the oil pastels. And you're going to see in some areas there is some water added to kind of create like a, a fogginess or a blend, but most of it is created just by layering the colors over and over again and then um, adding in those darks last minute um, to really push those values. With the oil pastels, you don't really want anything too understated. Um, it, it just, with this media, it's best to be a little bit more bold and daring with the colors as well as the textures that you're creating. So if you're working on an animal portrait, I also wanted to show you another visual aid that Miss Flanagan made that kind of shows the step-by-steps of how to first off draw the animal and then go into adding a wash. So a wash is more of like a background color to try to give um, just a basic layer to the animal that you're trying to create. And as she pointed out, it's really important that you let it dry. Um, we don't want to cover all of the white of the paper or the cardboard um, and we don't want to add too much water to the wash. As we move down, you're going to see that there is some building of color, shading, and some texture happening. You're redeveloping and adding on. You can use some water or not, it's up to you on how you prefer it to look. And then starting to work up some more of the detail. And lastly, um, you're building up texture. So texture is the last part of what you would want to do before finalizing your work of art. Um, you definitely do not want to use any water. And you're working on accent colors and defining small details within the work. So um, just using the oil pastel, not using any brush or finger or water, just um, making sure you kind of have that feel of like fur or scales or something that kind of gives the more realistic expectation of what the animal feels like. Here I'm showing in real time what it looks like when you start applying the oil pastels. And some of our projects we work in cardboard and some of our projects we work on white uh, 80 pound drawing paper. So I wanted to kind of show what it looks like on both. As you can probably guess, um, you need to add a lot more value and layers to the cardboard because it doesn't show up as well since it's a darker value. Um, and also the browns and the yellows are colors that are similar to the brown of the cardboard. They're going to be a little bit more subtle than what you would um, typically see on white paper. So I started off, I was curious to see um, with the cardboard what would happen if I added water to blend and then I tried to actually add strokes of the oil pastel on top of it. And you can see that's actually really difficult and it doesn't look very good. It's, it's very subtle. Um, and so when you are blending on the cardboard, it's really important to wait until it's completely dry before you go ahead and add another layer of the oil pastel. And then I also kind of experimented. I was curious to see, 
Should I be adding the lights and then the darks or the darks and then the lights of the values? Um, what I found is that it was kind of nice to find like a medium tone to start off with, like a base coat of a medium. And then I kind of added some more darks and then some more lights on top of that to kind of blend it a little bit better, especially with black. Um, obviously it's really difficult to show value with just straight up black. So I've been recommending students to use purple or blue as an offset to kind of give a little bit more dimension. Um, the oil pastels, yes, yeah, so you can make something look super realistic, but at the same time, it's okay if you use your own um, creative thought process and ability to create something that's a little bit more unique with different colors, including just black and brown. And here you'll see for the um, final like little smudges of color when I was done with them, um, what it looks like when you do use the water to blend, how it creates some type of wash on the outside of the um, little strokes that I made. And then on the inside, you're seeing a lot more of like the texture and um, more vibrancy of the color.